Sometimes it's gonna be pretty tanky. The carry is picked up, so it's good that they picked up the carry. I was thinking of carry or Leslie, but I think Leslie is gonna be difficult going up against the Ling. Yeah. So is this going to be a glue mid Novaria roam or not? Nah, it's just gonna be a glue roam. Yeah, glue roam, but they can still do that early in. Yeah, yeah, early in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But. They'll probably split the lane. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And they have a perfect composition, I think. The frontliner gonna be Fredrin and Glue, and then... Some respect given over, despite him being an assassin. Fierastic already jumping in. Also Super Vin, Super Ken, with the... Phantom execution now. Tempest of Blaze gonna be dodged away with the Thorn Rose. Fierastic going in for his first blood over to Super Ken. Traded it over. Jungler for Roamer, something you do not want to see as an RRQ fan. That's a big win for the troopers. And something else to note, Fursic between these two junglers is the one who wants to farm up. And if you're dying early, you're not going to get there. Yeah, he has a better GPM Ooh. than Super Can Cheap Boy in trouble. One more knockup and the Oh, to be anyways. Oh, stolen! Super Can, guilty. One count of Grand Theft Orange Banana using the penalty zone here. Continues to fight on. Appraiser's Wrath knocking him down. Moreno picks up the kill with the Astro Meteor. But what was uh, the MO on first thing now? The grab, grab, the mount by Super Vin. Astro Meteor and the Sphere. Clay, one HP. Oh, it's a oh, flicker oh. down. And a basic attack. He even forced Clay out with the flicker. So it's. And that helps in being a roamer. Now, Cerizo, 2v1. First, he walks out. Here comes Super Ken coming in from the north. Oh, Banana's gonna be fine here. Unless. Cerizo is actually taking a bit of damage here, but he will still win out on this trade. Gonna be able to clear out this way, but God, he has to be very careful. Uh -oh. First, he actually doesn't want to push the tempo, which is interesting. There you go. That's what they are going to do. Penalty zone, four man down below. Say goodbye to Cerizo as he's taken out. The biggest turn outbound, better than Zin. Yep. So the early struggle by Saken, uh, by Zin is not paying off. Oh wait, there's the mount. Banana all the way in the back. Not much Vin can do here. Super can. Oh, they're still diving. Oh, oh. On to Super Vin. Zin still doing the damage right now. Torch part memory gonna be used up. Pick it up a kill. Zin on the board in the fifth minute of the game. But. Is it too late for a Brody to get his first kill here, Leo? What do you nope, think? Nope, nope, nope. Well, we've seen Brody's come back from worse. And now Clay, though, I couldn't say the same for him. Can Fursic find the punish? Super Ken at a fifth of his health. He's fine. So, yeah, no. Uh, as I was saying. Space over for the Siege. It's just been absolutely Cerezo! phenomenal. Cerezo with the Appraiser's Wrath. Getting a little bit of HP, but will fall. No, it's on Chipui, though. <laughs> Out of all the members, it falls to the Roamer. Oh, Super Finn. Here we go. Now the Flicker forward. That's a split split to buy some time. But the Torn Apart memory oh. here should be enough for the basic attack, actually. Clay picks that up. Chipui able to zone them away. It's a good trade. I would oh. say RQ, they've hit their power spike. This is the time. They want to go for a big team fight with the Valentina, the Terizla, and the Brody all having significant more power. Oh, something to note here. BTR, Smell and Blood, they go for one. Phantom Execution to the back, good stun over. Oh, it's dodged away by the Thorn Rose, but still Super Kid falls. It's going to be Fairsick on the back now. Moreno, one oh. HP, getting sliced by Banana as that's the split split on two. Fairsick is not going to choose to mount him over. Cerizo backing, help with his farming, and that'll just make it all faster. Astral Echo by Moreno, spots four. Phantom Execution already used up. Thorn Rose going to be saved up right now. Red Tree, Super Kid finds it as Chief Boy jumps to the back now with the power of wildness. Super Ken's still able to escape right now. It's the Tempest in place for Fairsick. He picks it up like it's nothing. Takes Moreno down in the back. Chief Boy falls as well. A trade you'd want to take for our Very interesting because we rarely see that emblem yep. uh, utilized here. The fact that he has a 900 gold lead and the Bargain Hunter, and it doesn't really show Whoa. how much he has. Advantage wise, Shipu is going to fall here. There's no way to get out of this. Super Ken with. My goodness. Hunter the Strike. on Alpha. They're not forcing the issue. They're taking it step by step. Look at Super Vin living in their base. Mid lane inhibitor in wow. Jeopardy. Oh, there's a Phantom Execution in. With a major bot at the time. Oh my god. All the way. The base pin. Ah. Too greedy. Way all the way. He forgot which team he was playing for. Oh, Whoa. flicker penalty zone on the back. Zakan has a purified cheap boy chasing him down. But it should still be the kite away now as he praises Wrath. Is able to connect there in the back line. Oh. Terrified down. Zakan still able to dish out the damage to Super Ken now. Dives deep onto the back. Phantom Execution and the Thorn Rose. Super Ken is truly alive Whoa. in this series. Moreno tries to find one. I think alive is an understatement. He is larger I'm than life. For a good flank, but at this point, I think Chipwe gets melted down a bit too fast. And with Moreno, he's popping these astral echoes all across the board. 
I don't think they can actually uh, look for a flank here. Yeah, no, unless Bigatron fumbles, it's very difficult. Look at Super Vayne in the back. No, a brace wrath as well. Sin on Aver click on that with the nature now, and it's just a wipe. Very sick. Temp of the Blades knocking him up, dealing some damage, but Super Ken picks up a triple kill. Clay stealing away the split split. 4 4 0. Bigatron Alpha. They smell the wind in the air right now as they march forward. It should be it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, game one goes over to BTR. Commencing end game protocol. 1 and 0. Oh. What a statement from Bigatron Alpha. We've seen the, their games in SPS, the challenge season. We've seen how dominant they can be, but. There it is, Angela. Huh? Is this a gold lane grog? I think so. Yeah, it's a gold lane grog, guys. I think so, yeah. Well, we did talk about diving and everything, and uh, looking in the, into this draft, I'm really interested to know what Mirko is thinking. So, you guys are the analysts, but I'm throwing it over to the casters. Mirko, what do you think about the draft? We can make one of those miracle plays happen, just like in Season 7, back when he was still in Evo's Legends. He has the level lead, though. He's brought back down from the wall. That was a blaze used up. Cerezo with a flicker out. Versic will pick up first blood. But it's a bloody hunt to lock him down. Not for long, though. Versic able to escape right now. He's feeling it. Phantom execution oh, oh, oh. of the retribution. But the bloody hunt is stolen away. And now it's going to be the taunt and the appraiser's wrath. Super can decimated. Just taken out. RRQ with a clean, clean start to the game. Yep. And do help the Ling put so much more pressure on the map because usually you're pretty vulnerable. Now with Angela, not so much. Bloody hunt, though. Super can now with the Thorn Rose, just the Thorn Rose. Temple of Blade is going to be used up and Super Vent should fall, but again, this always happens. It's deja vu. It's the same situation from oh, earlier man. in. For Big Turn Alpha, they got to play around their pickoffs. Good taunt. Super can now with the rough. Oh, Thorn Rose gets out, but Ooh. look at the fish, boys. Over to the back. Oh, the flicker appraises Wrath. Versic finds the kill. Final slash stolen away. Cerezo swept back. RRQ, 2,000 gold lead. Super Vent just. Given up some vision, but he's going to be taunted and he should fall here unless he wants to burn that flicker of his. Whether airstrike oh. comes down, Chipui will fall and Vin will just take it. He doesn't know, doesn't want to use that flicker. Yeah, Weird. not because our analysts pointed it out that, yeah, Bigatron don't have poke, but it might not have been a poke they needed. Flickering in with a bite. Oh, also, Zen still able to survive for a bit. Super Vin now going to be locked down. Focusing Mark on him as well. Fair sick. Jumping over to Divine Blade onto Moreno, who's still going to be soaking it up. Roamer for Gold Laner. It's a trade over BTR. I think they won that. Yep. It was a uh, short term trade, Whoa. but just the same. They're going for more. Time for the place. Now it's going to be the massive win as Sokken falls under the turret. Moreno still able to sustain a bit as the final slash takes Chipui down. So I think RQ now they've gone better control. They got the gold lane for despite having three kills down. Whoa. What I'm worried about is first six mental. I mean, this young man came oh. up from the MDL, won his first championship, but here we go, the clap back! Hard guard saving him now, as that's the Tempest of Blades. Versi picking up the kills now. Super Vin falling, Moreno taunts it up. Oh, that's some damage! Bonk. A big bonk on the back. Zin with wild oh. charge and the flicker. Sockets next, the Vian Blade. And I think your question was instantly answered. RQ, they're feeling it. It's fine. So quickly from the MDL. Won his championship off of a rookie run. And now it looks like the metagame has bent to his will. This is how he wants to play. And he's showing BTR. It's not going to happen so quickly. Cerizo, 3v1, 4v1. No way you survived this. Final slash from Clay. Cerizo going to be taken out. Clay picks up a mega kill. And it's a massive 4,000 gold. As Moreno gets dove on. There's no way you survived this. Feather airstrike to come down with a bloody hunt. But it's not going to be enough to take Fairsick down. There's no anti-regen right now for the sign of Bigatron Alpha. And Vin will fall as well. Fairsick, 5, 1, and 8. Interesting mechanics. They need there. to start capitalizing and converting on these objectives because the longer this gets, it's going to get scary for them. Yep. Oh, here we go. They're crashing in. Super Ken clearing the waves. Looking for the taunt and the final slash. And the wild charge, everything, and the kitchen sink. This place thrown at Super Ken. Who is now? the greed train. He built Ice Queen one next. No defense on this Angela. He knows it's a 4v1. Sorizo with a final slash. He's very low. Sorizo should die here. He's trying to bait out the wild charge. But again, it's going to be the final slash and the wild charge. Time to perfection from Sin. Bloody Hunter. Oh, fair sick. Was taken out, he jumped oh. too far ahead, he forgot about the bloody hunt, and he got punished. Jungler for jungler. 
Six, one, and eight for a jungler that's zero, three, and one. Yep, main difference there is this time oh, with oh, the... you're gonna have to talk to your therapist about that. Now they come in, another bite! Oh, bloody hunt again, man. But this time with the final slash, that was like gonna be used oh. up with a wild charge to defend them out of that situation. The Appraiser's Wrath coming down, a good flicker from Sokken. In the back, we do see Super Cancel, able to buy some time. Banana disengaging for the team, one for zero. RRQ looking for the Lord. Yep, it's a man advantage for RRQ. Four to five, the fight continues. Wait, Versic jumping in, jumping back out. Now part of nature, oh, you can take a oh. lot of physical. But what do you do against the magical damage? Zakin built up the win of nature, now he's comfortable. He's just walking up in front of them all. Having the win of nature gives him so much more power. Now with the feather airstrike, Banana's gonna be chucked low, super again! How did he steal it away? One level below! Zakin pops in with nature, Fairstick finds the kill. It's a double for Fairstick. He jumps in, what the part? bloody hunt comes down, and it's gonna be enough to take him oh. down. Meanwhile, Moreno, one HP, Bonk. Cheap Boy, takes him out with a few waves. But Cerizo now, he's looking for the kills. He has the focusing mark placed down on the Cheap Boy. A few suns should get him the kill with a vengeance. Clay as well. Why is he walking down here? He might actually be punished as well. Clay, there's a few emotes coming down, and oh. it's the final slash. With a shutdown for Cerizo, making a triple kill. Unofficial. RRQ got punished so hard, and in the mayhem, their comms may have taken a dip, and they had a misunderstanding. Clay tried to save. That, 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 I haven't even written what that crime is called yet in, in my legislative book of objective <laughs> stealing. That's amazing. Oh, Super can definitely, even if he did go down there, even if he's looking at 0, 5, and 2, he's still... A, Making work here. He's, he's being super impactful here. Now wait, Ooh. get punished. Wild charge of Razor's wrath as well. Just as you compliment them, they make a big mistake, and it's truly the caster curse here, Leo. Oh man, I don't want to. I'm paid to speak, so I, I can't say I can't speak anymore. <laughs> oh, unless, unless Cerezo has something Cerezo to say. Final super slash. Versic nope. steals it away, takes it out. Super can now caught in the wild charge. And Super can will follow fast hands by Fairson with a Finch poise, forcing Miranda to flick around with wings by wings as well. A big turn alpha. They're looking to fight this. No wild charge. Not a lot of resources. Super Vin with a flicker forward. Now with a bloody hunt. Socket dealing the damage onto the back line. Still has it with nature. Able to dish out so Cheap much point. damage. Socket in the back. Will he be able to do it? Now with a flicker out as well. Moreno cannot save his gold laner. Super Vin, his immortality popped and now his life. One member against the world. Against RRQ. And this is a Luminous Lord marching down through mid. Will the King of Kings equalize? Are we going to see a game three? The end is nigh, it's just Super Ken coming in, five seconds. Oh, this is gonna be a defense. Oh, wild charge and the taunt. Oh. RRQ equalize in game number two, one to one. The kingdom rejoices as it is not over quite yet. Either of these teams still have a chance to make it into the next stage of the LCQ and boy oh boy. I'm sure analysts are already preparing what to say about their comments on the draft because I also thought it was way too greedy. I have to be honest, I thought it was ridiculous that you come in to a game that is at match point with you. Oh, 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 what? Oh. So it is a Paquito Gold lane. Yeah, Paquito Gold. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or, or, or Bane Gold lane. Bane Gold lane makes more sense. It's supposed to be Bane oh. Gold lane because Paquito gonna facing a yeah. hard time. Facing against Esmeralda, so Bane Gold lane, Paquito EXP lane. Wow. So complicated, man. One yeah. three one for both teams. You know what? I honestly love one three one lineups. Um, Rema, why are you feeling? Uh, weirdly feeling uh, BTR here. There. And in case you want to try, how about a raffle, real quick? First, sick, put down a fifth. Wait, good, good damage here. Cereza pops in the sprint. He wants to go for the invade here. Fairsick with retribution. First blood down below, and it's a kill on so Fairsick. He needs farm, but Cerizo, I think he's happy with that trade. No problem whatsoever. If Vin loses his life, this can be bad for Bigatron Alpha. Early on, with a great start already to the game. How did that happen? Well, what happened in the kill? Uh, kill. Go oh. there, Vin. Oh, with the hook. Hey, that hook could have gone either way, right? If he hooked and he got killed. Anyways, Sakin on the way ahead of you in the early. So, yeah, Sin is happy to spend that flicker. Now, this is a 50 50 turtle. Banana popping the rhythm and beats. On the Super Ken, she push still has the wild charge. There you go, uses it, but it's gonna be hooked down below. Meanwhile, in the back, Rizo jumps in. Let's see the Retreat battle. Super Ken wins it out. Fairsick just a bit late to the party. 
as Banana pops the Vengeance, but Bigotron Alpha, they take the win. One of the kill, but they spent so many, so much time, too much time on that top side, and they're gonna lose out a lot of pressure here in the mid lane. Superkin's on it, now Banana just gets slain under the turret with a single puncture. Thornrose comes in, good flicker out from Zen, a good hook as well from oh, Superman oh. as he soaks up the Rhapsody. Oh, what RFU's win might look oh, oh. like, right? They want to be able to peel, but wait first to get the back! Oh, Superkin finds the kill, no puncture resets here, Zen dealing with damage, but Superman coming in with a bloody Hunt. G Point unable to find the wild charge. Gets a oh. power of nature. Now flickers forward. Oh, Kang! He dodged away from the wild charge flicker! What in the world was that? It's the team. It was lording. Oh, is my that, is God. That a super, super prerequisite. Oh, wait, there's a pull in. They just really hate Grok. I think that's the idea here. That's a big knockout. Oh, flicker, real world manipulation. Banana forced out. Matter of much. Used the zone. But this time around. Man, more than 50%? That means half of your hooks are lethal. Oh wait, Flicker, watch charge in! Uh, on Super Vin, Flicker's out. Oh, Fierce barely gonna be caught. Oh, he's stuck in the mobility field. And Cerezo just takes him out of the dimension. Wait, with a few knock where they're gonna be able to give RQ a little bit of a taste of what's to come. Mm -hmm. Oh, slow siege, Super Vin gets popped. He doesn't have any mortality. Watch Saki, and he's just waiting for his deadly cast to come through. Oh, but not gonna need it. Turret gets smashed in by the Lord. Mid inhibitor falls. There's a hook! Iron hook, cheap boy. Oh, good wild charge to disengage, but the real world manipulation locks him down. Meanwhile, up top, Zen gonna be taken down here. Mega kill for Super Ken as he takes a solo 1v1 and wins it. And they're not stopping, man, with just three Ooh. defenders. Look at the trap clock cannon! First thing, his life flashed back before his very eyes. And now Sokken is on full finishing mode. He just needs his endless battle. Look, they're staying here. They're forcing oh! the issue. What is that damage? That's disgusting. Oh, oh my god, no. That, that That's not, that's not, not like, legal. It's not like this. What is that damage? All right, we'll see if we can turn Alpha can actually end. 14,000 gold lead, by the way. Little bit of Siege, Cerezo jumping forward, R to be on place down, wild charge, connecting onto one member only, Vin, so gonna damage, oh. good falling star move, but it all comes down to the deadly catch! Now Super Ken in the back with a puncture, Phantom execution to this engagement, Anna jumping in the midst of it all, now onto Miranda, but he's still able to escape, a good kite back, as Cerezo picks up a killing spree. Now it's Saken and Cerezo. Woo! All right, breathing, alive, struggling, surviving, one big Ooh. wave, and in comes Surizo, he's punching first thing, and now the base! Bigatron Alpha moves forward to the next stage of the GSL brackets to face off against the winner of Yudu Red Giants. Group E versus Team Flash is getting real spicy. Yesterday was an all-sweep day.